Hello everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Today is Friday, September 10th. And today our topic is building rapport and connecting with people. So don't turn off the video. This is very important because there's some things I've never said before. So a little cliffhanger here. Uh, I've talked about prospecting and making calls and door knocking and networking but um, there's going to be something I'm going to say in here I don't think I've ever said before because sometimes I forget to say it <laughs> on there so first I'm going to start with building rapport with people now you have rapport with people you talk to people the friends relatives acquaintances uh, business clients but the first thing that probably came to your mind and the first thing of course when I comes to my mind when I talk about rapport is when you're prospecting and you're following up with pe people and building a rapport with them so they like you and trust you and and want to do business with you so that's very important but building a rapport can be as simple as but it's more it's more detailed but the simple part of it is finding a common thing that connects you now don't forget that the one common thing that always connects you is that your ability to help them with any and all of their real estate needs now or in the future or and everybody that they know so that is the common thing but sometimes agents forget that they're just like i really got to seriously talk to them about being friendly with them, finding a, we have the same hobbies, connecting them, asking them about their family and their kids and the weather and their vacations and their, their hopes and dreams and building a rapport and a connection with people. Now here, here's the comparison I want to make. Uh, do you have anybody that is a professional in your life that's helping you that you have a good rapport with? Your doctor, your accountant, your mechanic, your favorite server at a restaurant or bar you have a rapport with. Now, think of that rapport. I'll just stick with uh, your doctor. I know, getting older now, more doctor's appointments. You get to really get to know your doctor after years, after years, after years. So example, you might have a great rapport with your doctor. Great person. Um, uh, they might have a great personality, sense of humor, connect with you, remember things about you, ask you about your life, and you have that connection. But you know that you're there for a reason. You want to make sure they are your trusted advisor and your doctor, someone's going to help you. You're not there 100% because he's a great guy or she's a great woman. And she know they know they remember my family and they ask how I'm doing and they're very nice and funny and have a good sense of humor and we build a rapport because we have have that small talk conversation, but we never forget that we're there for a reason. We're there number one because they know us, they trust us, or we trust them, and they're there because they're our trusted advisor for why we're there. If they're your mechanic, your, your, your uh, accountant, your attorney, your doctor, you're there for their expertise. But I think agents forget this because when we're making our prospecting calls and building rapport with people over a long period of time, Sometimes we forget that we're spending more time getting to know them and find, you know, in doing that small talk and say, how's your family? How's things going? You know, have you taken a vacation lately? Hey, remember last time we talked to you or you were uh, going uh, hiking, whatever you build a, a rapport and a connection with, but you always got to follow it up and make sure you you remind them. And part of the conversation is, Hey, remember, I'm also a realtor. I'm here for your needs and wants in real estate. Do you need anything? Do you want me to do a valuation of your house? Do you want me to show you what's going on in your area? And also remember, do you know anybody, friends, family, that you could refer me to? So you're always asking for those referrals. So you really got to nail down that script and that 
uh, those talking points to remind you that even though they might not need you at that moment to buy or sell a house, you have to have that built in your script, built in your rapport to remind them that that's why you are calling them, that you enjoy your conversations with them, you enjoy having them as someone that you follow up with over the years, you enjoy the relationship you have with them maybe outside of real estate, if, if this was a, a friend or relative or old neighbor or coworker, but also remind them of the reason why you're calling. And the reason why you're calling is to continue to remind them that you are their trusted real estate advisor and you're ready, willing and able to help them anytime they are ready and know anybody that is ready to buy or sell a house. So you've got to get that and practice that and practice that and practice that of how you say it. And that's different for everybody. It's kind of like it's an art. You know, it's all relative to how you want to put it together. But you got to get that message out and be comfortable saying that. Now I'm going to go on to something I probably haven't said before. The cliffhanger of this is I don't know if I want to use the word reverse of this is I'm targeting your friends, your relatives, your people that you come in contact with day to day. I see this all of the time. It's happened to even myself over 30 years of being in the real estate is that you have a friendship, a relationship, a rapport with so many people, friends, family, acquaintances, whatever, those people that you see at, at, at uh, events or things that you, you're volunteering, and you have a lot of these people that are connected with you, and sometimes agents forget because they just assume they have such a good relationship or rapport with people because they're, they're friends for 20 years or they're re relatives. They forget to build a rapport with those relatives, friends, because they haven't needed them yet, to build a rapport that remind them that you are also, you're your, they're your friend, they are your relatives, but you also have to remind them consistently over a long period of time that you are their also, their trusted advisor, just like a doctor just like an attorney, just like a mechanic, just like a uh, anybody, any service professional that when someone needs something, because you might have this great cousin Joe that you love and have such a good relationship with, but you wouldn't use him if he was your doctor. You wouldn't use him if he was a lawyer. You wouldn't use him if he was a mechanic you just don't trust him in those capacities but a great person now a lot of have especially the newer agents that uh, when they're newer they just assume that because they have such a great rapport relationship and connection with friends family that they're just going to be automatically use them because you know my uh, my cousin john loves me he knows I'm an agent. I never, every time I see him, I never have to tell him I'm an agent. I never have to tell him that I'm interested in helping him. I never have to tell him I'm here for you whenever you need me. Next thing you know, you go to the next family function and cousin John bought a house through someone else. Happens to every agent out there. So if you're newer, if you've never had experience with that, and if it happens, don't worry. It happens to every agent. And this is the number one reason. You didn't build a rapport with those people. You just assumed you had such a great friendship rapport or family rapport, and you didn't build that rapport or connection that you are their trusted real estate advisors. And I say that is, is, is that some friends and family might, if you don't ask them for business, they go, you might be too busy. You might not want new business. You might, for whatever, not service their area because for some reason you're not talking to them about real estate. So think about that. Is that 
And another thing to think about, and I'm just while I'm on this thought process, is that if you have a friend or relative that you know that has been, you know, that's a close, close relationship with, and they and they haven't, you know, for years, uh, you've been in real estate for years, we'll say, and you go back and you go, I have such a great relationship with my cousin John. It's great. We have such a great time. But he's been living in the same house for 10 years. I've been an agent for 10 years. He's never needed me. How many times has your cousin John referred you to a friend or relative? Because he has been in front of, over the 10 years, dozens and dozens and dozens of other people in his sphere that have bought and sold houses, but he never referred you. Why? Why? Because you are not asking him to refer you. You've got to use those closest people around you, your sphere of influence, to be your salespeople, to be your voice, to build your business. So just because they didn't need you, then that is a shock to you that you're like, wow, you might be right, Tony. I'm not telling them enough that, hey, sticking with Cousin John. Cousin John, you've never, you've been in the same house. You didn't need me, but why aren't you referring me to your friends and family? So every time you see Cousin John, I go, Cousin John, no, you know, you're not moving. You're not moving in the next couple of years, right? No, I want some referrals from you. I love you. You're my cousin. We see each other often. I want some referrals from you. Give me some names. Every time I see you, I want to see a name. I want a name of someone, a coworker, a friend, someone else that you know, because you know people buying or selling a house. And if you ask them that question, you go, oh, yeah, I've heard people. Why haven't you referred me? you got to have those people in your life that are closest to you that you you have no fear of putting them on the spot to say, why aren't you referring to me? I know you have people in your life like this. You have to. You have to. That you're just so close with and have such a rapport and relationship with, you can put them on the spot. They are your salespeople. They should be referring you to people. If not, you are not reminding them that you're in real estate. You just are assuming they know that. Uh, and they are assuming ah, they're going to refer you, but you got to ask for it. So do you follow me what I meant here? You got to build a rapport with people. You have to build a connection. This is what I, pro I was saying. I've never said before and or never stress it. The people closest to you, you still have to build a rapport about you being their trusted real estate advisor because just being so great and so close to them uh you know as a friend or a relative or or brother or even sister that you're that close you think i'm so close to them in that capacity i don't have to talk to them too much about real estate unless they ask they're always going to refer me to people it's not true it doesn't happen like that often it does happen to some people. Some people are great and they go, you don't even have to remind them. But you, even your own parents or kids, you got to remind them that refer me. Where are the people that you know? And, and remind them often of that, that you are looking for them and asking them for their help and building that rapport that you are their in real estate and you're there to help their friends family and people that they know that you don't know directly to help them too and build that kind of rapport with your closest family and friends so hopefully that makes sense there uh on that but remember use me as a resource call text email me anytime we could go over this and ideas and brainstorm and and tweak your scripts and ideas and dialogues that you have with people. I'm happy to do that. I like to role play with that kind of thing and do it every day with agents. And I would love to help you if you need help. That's it. Have a great, great Friday. Good weekend. And we will see you on Monday at noon. Bye-bye.